Good evening and welcome to this Tuesday night edition of 4FSC Weather. I'm student meteorologist Shane Pendleton. I'm student meteorologist Jane Kimball. It's been another gorgeous weekend. Going into Tuesday, we saw a little more overcast skies for on um, the morning, but later on in the afternoon, we saw some plenty of sunshine. Oh yeah, those clouds really broke up after lunchtime made way for a beautiful and very warm afternoon, I gotta say. Yes, it warmed up to almost the 80s. We got so close there, but not just quite. But again, with warm skies, we're not going to see much of that later on in the weekend, but we'll tell you more about that later on in the show. Yeah, for now, it's been very beautiful weather. We had a beautiful, cool weekend, and now we're getting more up to seasonal temperatures for this time of year. And getting to that point where you might just want to break out the shorts and the short sleeves as a consistent wardrobe. But also, maybe you want to bring out an umbrella as well, because you are seeing some scattered showers in the area because of a cold front coming in. This is true. We'll be getting to more of that for specific rainfall forecasts later in the show, but we can't rule out the probability that you will need an umbrella later this week for exactly when and where. Do stay tuned. Yes, indeed. But again, we're going to take more of that with in just a bit. But for most of the time, we're going to see a lot more sunnier skies going into Thursday and Friday. So be on the lookout for that. Yes, umbrellas will be necessary, but eventually you'll be able to put them away as those sunny skies finally take hold again with some cooler than average temperatures as we proceed into next week. But enough about that. Let's take it over to our view now with Aisha. Well, thanks, guys. So right now, currently looking in Tallahassee, 84 degrees, perfect, beautiful weather, but a bit gusty. Winds from the southwest, 15 miles per hour, gusts at 23. So a bit gusty out there. Make sure you pay attention to that. So currently right now, on our next satellite and radar, you can see a lot of rain moving in towards Atlanta. So DeKalb County, Fulton County, make sure you, you got those umbrellas, raincoats out. Get those rain boots out because the rain is coming for you. So tonight's forecast, 62 degrees, a bit muggy with 30% chance of rain. So for us, we're going to see some showers tonight. So make sure you get your umbrella out as you're walking back to your car from work. So weather headlines, rain throughout the night, muggy, warm week ahead, and a cold front coming through on that weekend. But our temperatures will be nice, so make sure you have fun and go outside. It's going to be sunny and great. Sending it back to the desk for more. Thanks, Aisha. That rain is associated with the thunderstorm forecast we're about to give you starting right here at home. Today, scattered thunderstorms are possible throughout the Big Bend region. We do remain under a marginal severe threat from the SBC. Yes, and with those more severe, we're also seeing some possible hail threats um, in the area, so be tuned to us or for any weather station for a little more about what's happening around your area. Yep, those thunderstorms are already flaring up across a lot of the Deep South, and keep watching for more specific details on that. If anything threatens our region, we will, of course, let you know. But now for the next few days. Yeah, for the next few days, you're going to see a lot more sunnier skies, so not as much. We, there's a slight chance for rain for tomorrow, but I'll see about maybe a 30% chance of rain for more about that. But later on in the afternoon, those um, clearer skies will be in the area, so by the time of Thursday and Friday, a lot more sunshine in the area. Good news for our region, but as we get to the national tomorrow, we'll be looking up to the Dakotas as another system of severe storms flares up. But for right now, let's bring it back home with Donovan. All right, thanks guys, and good Tuesday evening, everyone. I hope you've had a good day. Enjoyed this beautiful weather, at least in my opinion. I love these higher temperatures. I hope you've enjoyed your day. We're talking about our weather headlines to start off the night here in Tallahassee. We got rain tonight coming in. Could see about a 30% chance of rain tonight. Nothing too bad. It will continue into the morning, and that just sort of creates a muggy and warm rest of our week. Of course, tomorrow is hump day. It's almost done. We're going to have a beautiful weekend, and we'll talk about that more as well. It's going to get a little bit colder, colder, excuse me, cold front for the weekend, but it's going to be pretty comfortable. We're going to see temperatures around the 70s, and we'll get more specific in just a few moments. Now, currently outside, we're sitting around 84 here in the capital city, partly cloudy. That dew point, nothing too high. It's, it's a little humid, 40%, but nothing we're not too used to. Aisha was talking about this, and this is really the bigger story to me, is this 15-mile-per-hour winds, gusts of up to 23. That's blowing my hair around coming into the studio. I don't even have that long of hair, but it was pretty strong out there. Now, currently around the region, we're sitting, again, 84 here in Tallahassee, pretty hot outside, talking about lower 80s over to our east, into Valdosta around 79, Wilma 82, and then down towards the coast, seeing probably a nice gulf breeze down here in Apalachicola and Carabelle, so it's a pretty Beautiful day all across the Big Bend region. And up into the Peach State as well, we're seeing some winds though. And that's due to a high pressure system down in the Gulf. And that's just bringing up some warm, 
uh, air from the south, from the tropics into our area, and it's creating beautiful weather in my opinion, but again, it is a little gusty out there, and we'll talk more about that in just a moment. We saw a few clouds today, as indicated by this gray that passes over our area, but again, it's been really sunny, really hot, a little windy outside, but a beautiful spring day here to, to end March. Today is our last day of March. And we're talking about our first weekend of April right here. As we get closer, that cold front's moving in. We're going to see some humid conditions around Tallahassee tomorrow morning, possible early morning showers, but nothing that's going to stick around for too long as it's going to just be muggy tomorrow evening, maybe a few scattered storms as we're going to see tonight, but and partly cloudy skies going into, in, excuse me, into Thursday. So we've really got a good week coming up, a lot to look forward to. And if you're going to be on the water tomorrow, it's going to be a little gusty, 10 to 15 knots, not creating a lot of bad waves out there. Not a terrible day to get on the water, but I would wait until later in the afternoon. I wouldn't get out there early in the morning as that's when we could be seeing some rain. Not too bad of showers, but it's good to just hold off for a while if you can. For tonight, again, 62 degrees and that 30% chance of rain, creating some muggy conditions with these showers and a, and a lighter wind this evening. So. If you're going to be outside, it's probably a good idea to keep an umbrella in your car this evening. But it's going to be a beautiful, comfortable night. As long as you're staying inside, it's going to be really nice. For tomorrow, around 83 here in Tallahassee, talking about some early morning fog and those showers and thunderstorms sort of move in our way. But now, let's go ahead and talk about a bigger picture with Aisha in the southeast. All right. Thanks, Donovan. So looking at your southeast, I'm going to show you guys some warnings right now. So pink meaning that there's a lot of watches in this area for thunderstorms and orange meaning there's a lot of warnings in that area. So just be careful in Huntsville, Alabama, you're looking at a lot of warnings in your area. So current temperatures around the southeast, 84 degrees in Tallahassee. That's amazing. It's better than Miami sitting at 77, better than Orlando sitting at 81. So we're perfect right now. We're better than everyone in the southeast. So current winds, you can see really gusty in Tallahassee, 15 miles per hour winds with New Orleans as well as 15. So winds are high, really gusty out there and pretty breezy. And next, looking at your current dew point temperatures, you can see there's a lot of moisture up here. Um, moving, out, moving out of the way, going towards Atlanta, but it's perfect. In Perfect temperatures right now. 57 is not too bad. Orlando, 58, so not too bad temperatures, not too dry, not too hot in that area. Satellite and radar showing all that moisture we were talking about coming towards Atlanta, that um, severe thunderstorm watches and warnings up there. You can see those reds uh, in that area and a lot of cloud cover coming towards our way as well. We might get some showers tonight, bringing us some moisture in our area. So water vapor map actually telling that story as well. A lot of moisture coming this way. You can see all that moisture from those thunderstorm warnings up there in that area in the southeast. But right now we're just getting a little bit showers, a couple showers, not too bad. For a future cast showing humid temperatures, that um, is going to change because that cold front is going to swoop down and bring us rain. Lots of it not too bad, but it's going to bring us some rain and our temperatures are going to stay pretty nice, 80 degrees around throughout the week. But it's going to be really muggy and it's not going to be the best day, but temperatures are going to stay consistent. The lows are going to be pretty high up, 60 degrees, not too bad. So later on in the week, you're going to see a little bit of rain chances, but it's going to be a bit cloudy and sunny outside as well. So not too bad on Thursday. On the sand though, it's not going to be too best for boating. Southwest winds five to fifth, uh, 15 knots. That's pretty high. Surf two feet, that's pretty bad as well. But tonight's forecast, 62 degrees in Tallahassee, 64 in Miami. You get, the, you get the picture. Not too bad for us. And tomorrow's forecast, 84 degrees in Tallahassee, 83 in Orlando, beautiful around the southeast, just a lot of cloud cover, not too much. But I'm going to send it back to the desk for more. Thanks, Aisha. And now we're going to turn our gaze to a very different part of the world in the Philippines where they're being impacted by Super Typhoon Maysac. Yes, this is the third time in history that a storm this early um, hit the Philippines. Yes, before April 1st, it has achieved a status equivalent to an Atlantic Category 5 hurricane, 
and has already been responsible for five deaths in Micronesia. Yeah, so as you can see, it's been a very, very um, deadly storm, and it's going to get only worse later on in the week. Yes, it's expected to remain a Category 5 storm for about the next day or so until about 3 p.m. tomorrow, and then gradually weaken as it moves over cooler waters and over land as it begins to impact the Philippines and Indonesia. Yeah, so as you see later on, that track is going to go right into New Indonesia, so make sure you stay tuned to your local radio station for more about that. Yes, from the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service in Guam, we have typhoon warnings issued for parts of the state of Yap, including the islands of Farulep, Fais, and Ulithi. And this means that typhoon conditions are imminent, and this is equivalent to a major hurricane. Yes, but a little more about what's happening um, nationally. Let's take it over to Donovan. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, we're talking about a beautiful last day of March. It really went out like a lamb, which is nice. Didn't go out like a lion, indicating maybe a pretty calm spring as we go into summer. And we're just going to take a look at our current temperatures around the country. We're sitting 74 in Charleston, 66 in Washington, and poor old Boston. They're just staying cold up there, sitting around the upper 40s, and Detroit sitting around the mid-40s as well. Minneapolis finally warming up around 65 degrees. So it's looking pretty much better over overall throughout the country, but nobody's sitting as good as we are down here. And we're just taking a look at our satellite and radar nationally, and we're just seeing a few clouds down here in our area, maybe some winter stuff going on up towards Boston, probably not of a lot of accumulation of winter mix or things like that. But they could see some rain showers like that. Of course, out west, we'll look at that as well as it's going to be probably another system moving in off of the Pacific given Seattle those rainy conditions, just something they see too much of, I'm sure. I'm sure they're tired of it. Now this is important. We're talking about our watches and warnings across the country. Luckily in our area, we're sitting pretty nice, but these red flag warnings are in effect this evening, which is a danger for burning. These, excuse me, these yellow boxes down this way and getting closer to our area, close to our viewing area here in South Georgia, those indicate some severe thunderstorm watches and those should be out of effect by this evening and of course along the Mississippi River they're calling to watch out for some flooding. Now our future cast again we could see some rain this evening definitely some clouds over our area. Rain's going to push in from the north coming towards this weekend into t into Thursday and Friday. Future cast temperatures is showing we're going to get into a colorful map here and just show you how everyone's sitting up north sitting in the blues a little bit of green and orange we don't get too cold at all down our way something I'm really happy to see and that continues. We're going to be talking about the same sort of conditions into the weekend. It's going to be very nice here across Tallahassee. Now for tonight, 55 in Atlanta, 62 in Tallahassee. Pretty comfortable evening nationally. And for tomorrow, again, just some beautiful weather. 84 here in Tallahassee. And for more about Tallahassee, Shane, what's going on locally? Well, as you said, Donovan, it's staying warm around our region right now. We're seeing 84 degrees here in Tallahassee. 86 in Bainbridge checking in as the warm spot in the region. And these mid to upper 80s really are persisting for a lot of the Big Bend thanks to the clouds that broke earlier today. Here's a satellite loop from this afternoon. And as you can see, we had those clouds finally break up and then very little up there in the sky, which let in all that sunshine and warmth that really skyrocketed our temperatures. And those winds are coming out of the west right now associated with the driving movement of the weather systems moving into our region. And they're rather gusty, I've got to say. 15 miles per hour sustained in Tallahassee, 14 miles per hour in Quincy, a little weaker to our west, 6 miles per hour in Wilma. And these intensified winds are associated with that pressure system moving our way. Let me get out of the way of the map here. We can see they're out of the west because we're to the north of this high pressure sitting in the Gulf of Mexico. But they're going to shift. As the uh, weather gets c closer to our region, we've got an increased chance for rain come this evening into tomorrow, and it's going to remain warm and humid, not getting too cold at all overnight. And then it's going to remain muggy into tomorrow evening as we uh, see that line of showers finally scoot on out of our region, li lingering over class overcast skies in its wake. So is tomorrow a good day to go out on the water? Not really. Uh, we've got light to moderate chop and a chance of afternoon showers, but hey, if you're experienced, that shouldn't be much of a problem for you with waves of only two feet. Winds, though, are considerable from the southwest at 10 to 15 knots. Let's like, take a look at tonight's forecast. As we said, 
pretty warm. 62 degrees for a low in Tallahassee, 60 in Bainbridge, 61 in Quincy. It's going to be muggy all around, and we're calling for a 30% chance of rain. Not a total washout, but do keep the umbrellas handy, like Jay and I said. So is it going to be a good day tomorrow? It's going to be very similar to today, just with an increased chance of rain out there. 83 is going to be the high tomorrow here and in Bainbridge. Uh, Quincy coming in at 81 degrees, a little cooler there on the coast. Apalachicola only topping out at 77 degrees tomorrow. That 30% chance of rain does linger throughout tomorrow. So let's break down the day for you. We're going to start off muggy for our 8 a.m. classes, 61 degrees in the capital warming quickly to 75 degrees by lunchtime, capping off in the lower 80s as those showers begin to move into our region tomorrow. So breaking down the seven days ahead, well, we've got that chance of rain for Wednesday, and then that's finally going to get on out of the way for only 20% Thursday, and finally getting a clear day on Friday with highs remaining in the upper 80s, cooling down for the weekend. What do you guys think of that at the desk? Well, Shane, I think it looks really good here locally. I'm really looking forward to it. But Me let's too. step away from locally and talk right. about uh, the Final Four. we got basketball going I'm on. I'm so excited. Kentucky's doing great. They're 38-0. and 0. I'm rooting for them to win, basically. Yeah. Um, they're playing Wisconsin, and I'm ready for that game. April 5th. That's right. I'm hyped. <laughs> That's right. It's coming up. We're getting into April, and that always yeah. means it's tournament time. Yeah. And talking about that win streak, we haven't right. seen that. You wrote this down it's since Indiana. The Hoosier, Hoosiers went 40-0 right. and 0 in 1976, so I that'd know. be historical. So if they make that win, I'm going to go crazy bonkers over that. Yeah. I know the cheapest ticket for the Final Four, you're missing out. It's $643. So if you got $643... Go ahead and buy that ticket right now. Watch Kentucky play. Yeah, that's a good prize considering yeah. the average is around $1,800 for a ticket in that area. But let's keep it back here in Florida. Let's get away from Indianapolis and go around the state with Shane. Thanks, guys. I haven't got the money to shell up for those tickets, but I'll try to catch it on TV all the same. It's 84 right now in Tallahassee, and taking a look at the whole state, we can see similar conditions throughout. It's clouded up in Jacksonville and cooled off to 80 degrees. We'll find out exactly why in just a minute. Tampa coming in at 76 degrees, and Miami at 77. It's rare that Tallahassee is the warmest spot of the major cities in Florida, and maybe we can isolate just why. The satellite is a bit of a clue here. We've got clouds moving in over uh, Jacksonville as they get some rain moving in their way. Clear down along the peninsula, but Tallahassee, when those clouds broke, they let in the sunshine and the warmth. Now, breaking down the moisture for everyone, we've got... Increased moisture near Jacksonville, near Gainesville up there in northwestern Florida, and we're going to focus in more on that as we uh, expand our gaze into the severe weather that's starting to break out over the region. But dry throughout most of the peninsula, keeping everything clear and calm down there. So for the boating forecast out there tomorrow, we're talk again, we're talking about waves of about two feet with a light to moderate chop and a chance of afternoon showers, especially in Apalachee Bay. So that's going to be a bit of a hindrance for those who are looking for a clear, smooth sail. With those winds of 10 to 15 knots, it might just be the day to power off the motor and break up the sail, if that's your thing. But let's take a look at the rainfall going on right now across the state. Pretty clear around Tallahassee. We did have one cell move out of Leon County about half an hour ago. And as we follow it to the... To the uh, northeastern corner of Florida, we've got th this particularly strong storm approaching the Jacksonville region as other popcorn showers do begin to flare up. And this has been the trend across a lot of the southeast. Jay will be taking a look at that as we look in the national later. But uh, taking a wider gaze, we see those lines of uh, storms beginning to flare up along Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia. And that's definitely something to keep our eye on as that is where the center of activity for the warnings is. Another look at our animated future cast, that cold front driving all this action is going to push into our region tomorrow and cause things to cloud up and get a little bit more moist and muggy. So keep break out the umbrellas and don't dress too warm tomorrow. You're not going to be happy if you do. But the clouds will persist throughout a lot of the week, finally breaking for a more beautiful weekend for this Easter. So once again, tomorrow it's going to start off muggy in the 60s, warm up to about 75 and cap off at 82 degrees as rain moves into our region. One last look at the lows for tonight across the state of Florida. 62 here in Tallahassee, and that's pretty much the status quo for the whole state. 64 in Tampa, 64 in Miami, 
How warm will it get tomorrow? 84 here in Tallahassee. We're calling for a little cooler. 77 in Jacksonville, 83 in Orlando, and 84 tying with us there in Miami. Now let's give another national look out with Jay. Uh, yes, indeed, Shane. Currently around the nation, you're going to see 84 in Tallahassee, 79 in New Orleans. It's been quite a warm one in the south. The north is also seeing quite a warm spell as well, except for Seattle, which is at 52 degrees, San Francisco, which is at 64. So quite a warm one all around the nation, except for the northern states, which is usually associated, um, usually in the 50s around this time. So I'm ready. You're seeing a lot of activity over in the south because of that cold front that's going to make its way into the picture um, later on into the week for most of the south. And we're going to take a bigger look at that in just a bit when we go into more localized areas. For the, um, we are seeing a couple of red flag warnings uh, for price of billings and, as well as Albuquerque. So a red flag warning means a lot of heat associated with that. And we also see in the south, you're seeing a lot of thunderstorm watch boxes uh, as well as in Oklahoma City, Memphis, Little Rock, and places like Atlanta, so uh, places like Huntsville and Atlanta, like I said before, are seeing a lot of thunderstorms associated with that. Uh, some could possibly be severe, so let's we'll take a more greater look at that later on in the week because the thunderstorms will be around for tonight and going into tomorrow. We're going to take a more zoomed in look. For parts of Idaho and Montana, you're seeing a lot of red flag warnings, means a lot of heat. So make sure you stay inside, make sure you stay cool because red flag warnings means a lot of heat associated with those warnings. Future cast temperatures, you're seeing a lot of heat in the area for parts of Dallas and San Antonio when you go into it, um, later on tomorrow morning and into tomorrow, um, into Thursday. You're seeing 80 degrees in Tallahassee, 80, 80, 80 degrees in Dallas, excuse me, 83 in San Antonio. 83 in Albuquerque, 80 in Phoenix, so quite a much, quite 80s all across the south. And the southeast, you're seeing 73 in Tallahassee, um, 73 in Tallahassee, and 73 in New Orleans as well. When we go into Friday, you're seeing a lot more of a cool down for parts of Tallahassee. You're seeing 77 degrees in Tallahassee, 76 in New Orleans, 67 in Dallas, so quite a cold one going into San Antonio for 78 degrees. And one more zoomed in look on Saturday. It's going to be quite a cool one for Sunday at 1 a.m., 54 degrees in um, Dallas. 53 in San Antonio, so quite a cool one going to the weekend, which we expected because cold front will be making its way out of the, um, out of the national and into, into um, waters. For sound radar, you're going to see a zoomed in look, like Shane said before. You see a couple of clouds here and there for most of today. For tomorrow, you're going to see a couple of clouds in the morning, but that will be um, make its way out for Wednesday um, morning. So Wednesday afternoon, it's been quite a warm one. It's going to be about close to the 80s indeed for most of Tallahassee as well as Panhandle region in general. Tonight's forecast, you're estimating 62 degrees in Tallahassee, 63 in Valdosta, 64 in Panama City, so quite a cool one for tonight. For tomorrow, you're going to see quite a warm one. You're going to see 84 degrees in Tallahassee, 84 in Valdosta, 76 in Panama City, 81 in Pensacola, so quite a warm one for most of the panhandle. But for a little more about what's happening around, um, around with the news, let's take it back over to the desk with Donovan and Aisha. Well, thanks, Jay. That's great weather, but not so great weather looking into Oklahoma. They have a high, high chance of a lot of tornadoes in that area. It's pretty scary stuff. It is, and I wasn't even aware of how many they see a year, but yeah. as of now, they're calling for over 50 in Oklahoma right. and then over 125 across the state of Texas. So. I mean, that's dangerous. That's a lot of tornadoes in that area, and it's actually this season is above high, the record, so that's breaking records, and that's pretty scary stuff. That's right. I mean, that, they're saying it's an above average season, and so people need to be aware of that, and we're both from Atlanta, so we've experienced yeah. some tornadoes. <laughs> We have. And uh, we, we know a little bit about tornado about safety. About safety, yeah. yeah. I mean, here in Florida, it's it's pretty hard. You know, we don't have basements here, but always, if we do get a tornado watch, it's yeah. good to go into a bathroom. And watch those windows. windows. Don't be near those windows. Go into a room without those windows. So, That's right. yeah, we're going to take it back to the wall for more. Um, lightning capital of this um, nation. So, again, we're seeing a lot more lightning. So, definitely stay tuned for that because we are seeing a lot more lightning. Currently though, however, we are seeing 84 degrees in Tallahassee, partly cloudy skies. We're going to see much more of that. There is a 30% chance of rain for tonight and tomorrow, but I'll get into more about that in just a bit. Satellite and radar, we are seeing cold passing clouds for um, um, all of today for Tuesday. We're going into Wednesday, you're going to see a lot more passing clouds as well as a 30% chance of rain for tonight and for tomorrow. But like I said, I'll get into more about that when we go into the satellite radar. Current temperatures, you are seeing 84 degrees in Tallahassee, 82 degrees in Quincy, 82 at Wilma, so quite a warm one all across the capital city as well as Panhandle. We're seeing a bunch of 80s and high 70s. 
So pollen forecast, I'm sorry if you're allergic to, um, if you have any allergies to pollen, you do not going to see this because it's 10.4 for Tuesday and it just keeps going up and up and up. It just keeps on going sky high. So if, if you have pollen, you're not going to like this forecast. I'm sorry. It's going to go back down later on into the summer. So keep an eye out for that because I know I'm quite allergic to pollen, so I'm not looking for that either. Current dew point threats in 57 in Tallahassee, 64 in St. Mark's, 59 in Carabao, so quite a cool one. But it's been quite muggy later on into the week. I'll show you just that um, with um, the future cast later on in just a bit. On the water, you're actually seeing um, south, um, southwest winds, 10 to 15 knots, so quite a rocky one on the waters. So it's going to be a light to moderate chop, and afternoon showers are going to be um, going to be in the area for Wednesday. Now let's take a look at the future cast. There is a high in the area. It's going to be quite humid for the next couple of days. When, we, when that cold front starts making its way down into the Tallahassee, we are seeing a couple of showers associated with that in the morning as well as the afternoon. It's going to be a 30% chance for most of the day. And unfortunately, we're going to see a lot more muggy weather. So if you're not sweating before, you will be tomorrow because it's been quite muggy and quite humid when those showers are making its way into Tallahassee on Wednesday. Thursday, it's going to be quite a warm one. As well for Tallahassee, it won't be a lot of partly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy. So you might see a chance of overcast skies um, for Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. But when we go into Friday and Saturday, you're going to see a lot more sunnier skies. But temperatures do take a five to um, ten degree drop down. So we're going to be in the 70s for the weekend. Tonight's forecast: you are seeing muggy temperatures, 30% chance of rain, winds south, um, winds west southwest at five to ten miles per hour. It's a 60 degree, um, 62 degrees in Tallahassee, 63 is St. Marks. For tomorrow, you are seeing a lot more uh, warmer weather. 83 in Tallahassee, 80 in St. Marks. There is a, still is a chance for showers and thunderstorms. It's a 30% chance, so you might want to bring those poncho and umbrellas if um, the, um, the sky showers happen to come by in your area. For the day plan for tomorrow, you might want to bring those showers because it will be um, showers for 5 o'clock. But for 8 a.m. and for noon, it's going to be quite warm going to 8 um, all the way up to 5, but it's going to be quite a warm and muggy one. And for the weekend ahead, you're seeing a lot more cooler temperatures for the weekend and a lot more cooler temperatures for Monday. For Tuesday, you're seeing a lot more showers um, in the area. But for the last desk of the evening, let's take it back over to Aisha and Donovan. Well, thanks, Jay. So uh, me and Donovan have a little story for you for our local Tallahassee. Yeah, right now we, um, it's going to be Easter. I'm excited for Easter weekend. That's We're right. going to have a lot of events happening. That's right. we got a lot going on other, in, other than Easter Sunday. I know we're sports fans. So yeah. Let's talk about what's going on this weekend. Here on campus, we got Pro Day was today. If you're, on, if you're watching ESPN, our yeah. guys look pretty good today. Ready for that, Knowles. That's right. And then that three-game series starts on Friday here for the baseball team playing Coastal Carolina, and I think they're going to enjoy that cool Yeah, game. I think so. And looking at our seven-day, we can see great temperatures temperatures around the week 83 83 84 that's beautiful i'm ready for that weather but you can like us on facebook always at fsu weather yeah follow us on twitter and we've got an instagram now so be sure to send in your your pictures and also watch us anytime at livestream.com yep i love watching us on livestream.com <laughs> <laughs> so for your tonight thanks for tuning in with us i'm aisha wilkinson i'm donovan wiseman everyone stay cool out there enjoy these nice temperatures and have a great easter weekend good night <laughs>